so my uh, birth name is Ken E. Ken. I was born in Burma. Uh, and now my name is E. E. Ken Samai. Um, when my husband and I married, um, we actually decided to say hell no to patriarchy <laughs> and chose a name that meant something for the both of us instead of doing the, the hyphenation thing. Or, um, <clears throat> and so my last name is actually uh, Quechua and it means breath or spirit. Uh, and it's a um, it's it's a reminder of something that's bigger than us. Mm. That's always there. That's always something we can rely on. Mm. Um, so yeah. So I'm Ee Samai. Actually, when um, my son, my first son, was about six months old, uh, my husband and I founded a permaculture business yes. um, to support the the bees. Um, and now six years later the business is still around and we've um we've kind of grown to include other pollinators like hummingbirds and butterflies um and so the product basically um supports uh the growing of native wildflowers all over the country um and we we noticed that you know that people were you know, as they were learning about climate change, as they were learning about, um, you know, the, the bee issue, people were paralyzed, right? It's, it's such a big thing. How do you do anything, you know, in your daily life? Um, and so that was one of the things that we designed for. Um, and so our whole thing is like this joy. It's about inspiring kids. It's about you can do something and, and collective action. We have a map on our website that shows... Um, where people have bought and planted all these wildflowers so they can really see like together i think now our customers have um, grown over a billion wildflowers all over the country right um <clears throat> so that was one um it's just like really inspiring the next generation to be like yes you can do something and it's not just about individual action we are always better when we're together um as an immigrant uh um i've had to establish that love for California and the Bay Area myself. Um, and it is complicated because, um, you know, I, like for example, I, I went to um, college in Santa Barbara and it's it's so predominantly white. Um, there is a brand of, uh, there's a brand of nature love that's about privilege and that's about um, the lifestyle of the wealthy right it's like who enjoys hiking and who has a boat to go out in the ocean you know um, <clears throat> but I can I can now say um California is one of my favorite places um really anywhere with the ocean um that there's a like I've, I've traveled in a bunch of places and there's something that just feels like home when I am next to the ocean and uh, currently uh, I'm doing climate justice work, which is so fulfilling um, when I get to work directly with community. So to me, being a part of Salmon Nation is um, tapping into that underground network of people who are thinking differently. And we don't need, um, we don't need to come up with like frameworks with intellectual property rights that you, you know there's a, there's a different way of moving with this work moving with each other that is based in trust and that is based in um in believing in something that maybe doesn't exist yet you know believing in the immersion and believing in process and like all of those things just feel so right um, so i'm excited to to see where it goes